What up? Uh, this is DJ. You're watching those guys. To my left, I have a pretty popular guy. I think you're known as Cali Power. What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Uh, so we're here at a uh, final round. It was a big tournament. It was a real hype event. Did you have fun this weekend, or what was your favorite part of the weekend? Uh, I had an amazing time. It was a great tournament. Shout out to Larry and Spooky for holding it down, you know, entertaining the masses. Um, you know, what you can expect, man. You got a lot of hype. You got the, the newest games out here and the young blood and some of the old school coming together to show who's best. So how did you do in Street Fighter? Oh, I got beat up. <laughs> no, yeah, it, it's, I mean, uh, I don't know if you know, well, I hope you guys know, I was away for Cross Assault. Yeah. And so I've, I've been in Street Fighter Cross Tekken mode. Oh, really? And I'm not using that as an excuse, but, um, you know, as soon as you stop practicing for a game, there's somebody out there that hasn't. You know, so, and that's, that's the result of my placings. Well, that's a nice segue into Cross Tekken. Uh, how are you feeling about the game? Do you think it's going to be hype? Do you think it's even going to make Street Fighter 4 obsolete? Like, how do you, how do you feel? Street Fighter Cross Tekken is the truth, man. It's, 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 awesome. okay. Um, Let's just say, like, if you've played Street Fighter 4 for the first time, I'm sure a lot of you had your doubts, like, this game is slow, it's boring, and it, and for some, it grew on them, and for some, you guys need something a little bit more, like Ash Impact, right? Well, Street Fighter Cross Second is that, what it should have been. It, well, for, if you're, if you're into the action part, or like a Rainbow Edition version of Street Fighter 4, <laughs> that's what it is, that's what this is. Are you still playing Ryu? Of course, of course. Yeah, Ryu, yeah, all day long, man. So do you feel like the Tekken characters are going to be more powerful in this game compared to the Street Fighter characters, or do you think there's going to be a good balance? What do you feel like? Um, I feel right now that the Capcom characters are, are a bit stronger because, just because of familiarity, familiarity, ah, I can't even say it. No, <laughs> that's just, word. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yes, it's a big word. No, just because we're, we're, we're familiar with these characters, exactly. the cross-ups, the, the special moves, we know the ranges really well. Um, it's not too, too different from Street Fighter 4, um, but then, you know, now you got Tekken characters, which in, I think they do have a lot of potential. Some of them have potential to be the best characters in the game, um, but in the early stages, I'm sure that the, the, there will be a lot more Capcom characters that are, are in the tournament scene. So on the Capcom side, who do you think are the strongest characters in the game so far? Uh, Capcom side, just off the bat, Ryu, of course, uh, and Rolento is really good yeah, too. Rolento is godlike <laughs> in that game. You watch that stand jab. Yeah, watch Combo Fiend stuff, <laughs> and it's anybody that remotely takes a little bit of time with Rolento in this game, he's, he's, he's a problem. He seems pretty sick, he seems pretty sick. So moving along, um, there's this whole debate going on with uh, eSports versus FTC. Do you have any strong opinions on either side? Do you think the fighting game community is defined the way it is? Or would you like to have companies like uh, MLG step in and you know, help the fighting game community out? Uh, well, I, I think, um, I, I, honestly, I think the community doesn't really know what eSports is. And I really don't know what eSports is. It's what, I think what it, it should be is what you want it to be. So if MLG is a, that's just like, okay, I'll even make it up with you right now. Just say esports is a business model and MLG is just another tournament organizer, but the way that they run their esports business model may not mesh or do well with, you know, what we're trying to do because we have fighting games only. They have um, you know, shooters, I don't know if they have sports games anymore, but they have a... Yeah, they, they do. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, sorry about that. <laughs> if they have that, I, I don't follow it that much. So, and RTS, of course, yeah. it was StarCraft. And, uh, you know, one of the games, no, even if they have a fighting game, is a fighting game going to be their, their prime game? Probably not. You know, so there's extreme bias over there because they have to... Um, complement their uh, investors, you know? Well, what MLG is kind of notorious for is that when a scene kind of dwindles, they're known for just dropping games completely. Do you feel like since they're picking up KOF, which is still like in its infancy as far as the community is, you know, in its exposure, do you feel like it would hurt KOF in the long run if they picked it up for a year and then dropped it? Uh, how do you feel about that? Oh, um, as, okay, as a top player, um, I love all the opportunities that, you know, these organizations would, hey, we're going to throw a $10,000 tournament. Yeah, you know what? I'd be kind of stupid not to go. But then in the flip side, as a tournament organizer, damn, well then what about my event? Exactly. That I've been 
putting my own money into, you know, are you just going to go to that event? So there's like big, there's, there's a give and take, you know, and, and there's a lot of uh, meshing on dates, which is a really big problem, you know, but um, it's, it's ultimately up to the players. And if the game gets dropped, you know, just don't be surprised, you know, don't, it, it is what it is. I mean, even our organizers today, sometimes they have to make the hard decisions of making, let's just say, X game as a feature game this year, but next year it could be a side game, you know? And don't feel that like, hey, we're just um, trying to put your game in the back burner. It's just, it's what the community wants. So I'm sh pretty sure the community will make the right decisions and what terms they should go to. And I, I would implore everybody to go as many events as possible. So quick question about dropping games. Are you going to drop Street Fighter 4 now that Cross Seconds out? Or do you think, feel like those two games can coexist? Because I kind of feel like they're similar, like just Cross Seconds a better version of Street Fighter 4. Is that how you feel? I don't drop games. I only, I only acquire them. <laughs> oh, okay. So it's like riding a bike, basically. Uh, yeah, if you play one Street Fighter, you should be able to play all of them. <laughs> no, yeah. I hear you on that. I hear you that. Well, I just want to thank you for spending your time with us, man. And uh, is there anywhere that people can find you online? Yeah, sure. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Alex Valle SF4 or uh, my company at levelup-series.com. Um, check out our streams at twitch.tv slash leveluplive every Wednesday night fights and of course our every year major SCR, SoCal Regionals. All right, man. Well, thanks a lot. Shout out to Cross This Out and uh, thanks again, man. All right, thank you.